We'll now take a look at the MATLAB code for the numerical solution of the heat equation found on the course homepage. And the purpose of the code is to solve the one-dimensional heat equation numerically and illustrate the solution graphically. The code includes an animation of the evolution of the heat profile with respect to time and a surface plot of the solution as a function of the spatial coordinate x and time t. The code can be run either by typing its name on the command line or by opening it in the editor and selecting run. And there's also a shortcut key for the execution of the code. And the output of the code looks something like this. So we'll first see the animation and afterwards we also get a surface plot of the solution. So let's now see how the code is organized. The file begins with setting the parameters k, c and rho of the heat equation which determine the constant alpha in the equation. After this we fix the boundary conditions of the heat equation at the moment these are set to be homogeneous Dirichlet boundary conditions so that the solution is zero at both ends of the interval. You can try different boundary conditions as well as long as you remember that the initial condition must also satisfy the boundary conditions at time equals zero. And you can even try time dependent boundary conditions which you can do by removing the comments from the two lines here. After the boundary conditions, we set the initial condition of the heat equation by setting the variable heat IC fun. There are a couple of options you can try listed in the code, and you can also define your own functions. Similarly, you can try some of the source functions q given in the code or define your own function by setting the variable source fun. Next, we set how long we want to simulate the heat equation. The simulation runs from 0 up to t max defined in the code. If you want to increase the number of points where the solution is evaluated, you can increase the number of points in the variables x mesh and t span. The next stage calls the function pdpe to solve the heat equation. The solver requires the definition of two functions, one defining the pde itself and one defining its boundary conditions. These are presented at the end of the file. The first one heat PD fun determines the PDE and the second one heat BC fun the boundary conditions. You can learn the precise way the definitions are done by studying the documentation page of the solver PDPE which you can find by writing doc PDPE on the command line. The solver PDEPE returns the solution of the heat equation in a matrix that contains its values for all x and t determined by the vectors x mesh and t span. This solution can be used to animate the evolution of the heat profile by plotting the heat distribution at each time step. After this, we also plot the solution as a surface plot as a function of the two parameters x and t. You can run the code by choosing the initial condition and the source term as you like and either selecting run or pressing the hotkey. You can experiment with different options and change the parameters of the equation and if in some cases the convergence is very fast, you can also change the final time of the simulation interval 
see the change more clearly. You can experiment with the time dependent boundary conditions by removing the comments from the lines at the beginning of the file. So you should experiment with different combinations of the initial conditions, boundary conditions and source functions. So have fun.